My name is Gilana Laputra. My name is Nana Ayana Tyree. I'm Kritika. Uh, my name is Jamila. My name is Noir. My name is Orogas Rahman. My name is Dalena. Dalena Leon. Korea is like very technologically developed compared to India. Like it's more or less like five or six years ahead of India in terms of technology. So I uh, am interested in the field of robotics and I heard that uh, DJUST has like a really good robotics department. So I wanted to like intern here before I uh, like s- select my specialization for my uh, grad school. I got two opportunities. Uh, the two opportunities that I had were here in Korea. But one of them was like not so focused into sciences. So I made some research about DGs. I saw that it was really uh, like a good uh, university, has a lot of convergence. That's one of the things that I like the most. Actually, my professor sent me the uh, information about this internship because she already knew that I'm interested in Korean culture also. And she she like uh, suggested me to uh, submit the, my documents here because uh, it's in Korea. And she was like, this is a great opportunity to you to uh, experience the culture and the technologies like all together. That's why. <laughs> I'm not very surprised because I saw all the pictures on the internet when I researched it, but I just love the way the campus is set up. It's brand new and everything is so, um, I would say technology is integrated really well into the um, university and just things I wasn't expecting, like the having to push a door to open. The, uh, <laughs> yeah. All people were like really trying to help me because when I just arrived to Korea, I was expecting like everyone to talk English and it was not like that, like I was really lost. But at least here in Digis, like some people, at least we are, we were assigned a buddy who is supposed to, to guide us and help us. So since I arrived, like uh, So Young is the name of my buddy, she helped me a lot uh, to like, like how to develop here in the campus, how to go, where are the staffs, what's around me, like, yeah, so we had a lot of support from part of, of, of them. For the application, I think it's important for you to have some professor in your university that really guides you. How to write well your motivation letter, how to write well your uh, yeah your personal statement. Like you really need a guide in your own university, and you have to tell a lot of people like to show you what are you writing and give you some reviews about it. That's important to apply. <laughs> I applied uh, through the DGIS portal and then I was asked to write some uh, two or three essays as to why I'm applying to this university and what, what's a, basically the motivation letter. And then uh, I did that and my uh, head of the department gave the recommendation letter uh, recommending me that uh, she can like do her internship over here and things. And then uh, I got selected and then uh, later uh, for the visa, I was told that I'll be having a short-term visitor visa, C3-1, so I applied for that. And uh, for Indians, I think the application procedure is like really simple. I just have to fill the uh, visa form and then like hand it over to the embassy and like I could get my visa in like two or three days. So that wasn't much of a problem. And uh, regarding the expenses, like uh, Jesus is actually paying a lot, so it, it covers almost everything. So I didn't have much of a problem regarding that. I just go back to the dorm and take a rest. Uh, but I, uh, like every day, I call my mom. Uh, I I should know her news. Like we just uh, share our story, like like every day. Like after the laboratory, we like with my lab mates, we go to dinner sometimes together, and then I go to the gym every day. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's funny because I actually have no access to that building. Oh, <laughs> so I, uh, every day I just like walk, and then someone gets into the into the building and I also get inside. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> like I get like I have also a friend that. He always like let me in, and then yeah. and I also made friends in the gym, so they always let me in also. <laughs> and I get there every day. I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm dying>. Yeah, <laughs> like I should be going to the gym or something, and probably being more productive with my life. But I use that time to just relax because yeah, I do a lot of stuff on the weekends. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> after work I use that as like my downtime. So a lot of sleeping, 
I read sometimes. <laughs> yeah, on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 that I've tried it it's it, all, it tastes all and it's all great I don't eat pork yeah so I guess bibimbap is great oh jajangmyeon without 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 pork is great uh, yeah I just say that uh, there's so many things that you don't know about South Korea and also I don't know about Korea but Mostly, uh, it was fun in here. I also have a lot of friends who are interested in Korean culture, language, K-pop and everything. Uh, ask me to buy some souvenirs, you know, albums and so <laughs> stuff. <laughs> That's why they're always like, texting me, how is everything going? How is Korea? How is Korean people? Are they really kind? And it's like, yes, the Korean people really, really kind. Always trying to help me. Even they, uh, even some people can speak in English, but they're trying uh, to like uh, explain everything using their hands. <laughs> and it is so cute. And um, I, I'm so happy to be here because I experience a lot of Korean culture, and so <laughs> it's a big opportunity. I have like special, not special, a little bit different preference, like food preference. Yeah, and my friends in Korea, they also warn me that it will be really difficult for me. Yeah, and it is difficult. <laughs> but yeah, fortunately I have many, like, many Korean people who can help me to find the proper meal for me. Yeah, so I think, yeah, they're thinking good. Yeah, so it's, it's just given me a lot of experience and stuff that I can definitely use further on in my career and in my um, educational career. Um, then professor started like giving us lectures and I feel really good because I was under understanding it, everything. Like we had some problems about like communication. Uh, there are like some things that I couldn't understand because of the language, but not of because uh, they didn't explain it well or something like that. Because I think like, at least professor is really good at, at, at his job and he's like diffusing us a lot of knowledge. We are learning a lot. So the good things, even though I can, I can know all of this uh, subject, but they also try to explain to me every time and like so many times until I understand and finally I understand. Uh, and after that, the, they will also always help me to through this uh, this subject, yeah, <laughs> this uh, project also. So, and the hardest thing is, yeah, communication with others is very hard too. But they always try to answer my question, even though they cannot speak English very well. But that's the good things. She is my senior in the lab, and uh, she she can't really speak English. Like she can understand, but she can't really speak. But uh, the first day, she, uh, like one of my lab mates explained that she really wants to speak to me, but then she's not able to. But then, uh, yeah, she uh, every time she tries to talk to me, and then uh, she is kind of uh, learning English, you know, just to talk to me. And I think that's like really sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then uh, uh, I'm a vegetarian, so I, I can't eat with my uh, lab mates. So uh, like every time she would call me for lunch or something I have to like say that I can't really eat so for like uh, a week or something uh, she ate like vegetarian food just for me and then like she ordered Whoa. yeah that's really sweet <laughs> yeah she is uh, Gion Bay every day my lab group is so nice and they we jump around cafeterias to see if they have pork or not every day and I'm so sorry but really really thankful and they're so nice and welcoming um, yeah, I already have actually somebody like 
swiped up on my story and I was like, yeah, you should come here. Get the uh, the research experience because it's one of the top notch research institutions in um, South Korea, which is already big for education. Um, so yeah, I definitely would recommend. I think the research, ongoing research is like pretty strong and uh, a lot of my friends do like Korea and they like the Korean culture and everything so probably they would be like uh, really interested to come here and I would definitely recommend them to applying for this internship. <laughs> Immersing yourself in a situation where you may not be able to communicate with someone is I think a valuable life lesson so I think everyone that I know should uh, <laughs> apply or think about wanting to apply. Welcome to Digest. Welcome to Digest. Welcome to Digi.